I just woke up, it's way too early, and that can only mean one thing. Let's go on tour! Hey everybody, Matthias Lunde here. I am a guitarist based in London who goes on tour quite often, bring my camera and make vlogs to document my journey. <laughs> I'm currently in Amsterdam where we're doing a show with the incredible artist Victor Ray. So he's doing a tour in Europe right now. Where we're doing Amsterdam, then we're doing Berlin, Hamburg, Cologne, and then we go to Paris for the last show. So this is going to be a fun week. This tour is actually quite fun because it's a bit different than the ones I've done in the past where for example, we've gone around Europe with a full band or a stripped back band with just keys and guitar, for example. But today and this whole week is just me and Victor. So that kind of makes it a little bit challenging, but also quite fun. He's got his full production songs and then I have to interpret the songs and I have to make an acoustic version that engages the crowd. So a lot of Victor's music is quite guitar driven. There's a few of the tracks where the guitar, for example, has a more passive role, and that's where you have to get creative. When you're only a guitarist playing, you kind of have to think, hmm, what's missing? The bass is missing, the drums are missing, and the keyboards are missing. So how I would approach this is I just listen to the tracks, and I listen to what's going on in the bass, what's going on in the drums, and how can I incorporate that on guitar? So on Sink and Swim, there's a drum groove that starts like, yeah, forgive me. But it's quite groovy in the start. So the rhythm that the drum is playing. But the very start of the song, there's a kind of like a catchy bass line that I wanna wanna get, which goes. That's more or less the bass line. But when you add the drums to that, you get something like this. dynamics so when you hit the second verse you play with a softer dynamic so that the chorus can pop out more and you make it come alive and that also helps him be more dynamic in his voice because I always know that on the verses he kind of takes it back a little bit and on the choruses he will belt out so I just have to match his energy and then he has to match my energy so it's just like a back and forth which is really interesting I also have a stump box pedal on me on this one this is from Roland and all it does in this context is to provide a pulse. So when I'm playing, I'm tapping with my foot. So the crowd gets a little pump in the chest and they actually feel like dancing and feel like moving. But when you have this, it elevates the whole live performance. And that's what I was trying to do in this. So I, I called Victor in rehearsals and said, like, Hey man, check this out. I think this is going to be a cool addition to the set. We tried it and we've never gone back. To apprehend you more, baby. I'm ready to jump in. I know, I know, I know it's sink or swim. Yeah, oh, it's sink or swim. How this will end. Just think about it now and I know it. Oh, it's sink or swim. Oh, no. How you guys feeling? You warmed up? On our way to Berlin, let's go guys! So our train leaves in 15. Do you think we're gonna catch it, Alex? 20 actually, but... <laughs> <laughs> we made it to the train. On this tour we're actually taking train most of the places we go, or actually all of the places we go, because we're so eco-friendly, you know? Actually taking trains is just so much better than taking flights anyway, because then you have to get up for the really early flights. So maybe you sleep like four or five hours and have to get up, catch a flight at seven in the morning. So I'm feeling well rested, ready for six hours on this train. Come in with me. This train is actually quite cool, like, as trains go. Looks like a movie, like a Hogwarts, um, Harry Potter style train. You got this uh, 
walk down here and then we have our own little room. I accept the same. And it's lit. We made it. Hogwarts Express, guys. It is Hogwarts thing, bro. <sighs> Let's go to Berlin. saying about the coaches. I like the coaches though. No, they're, they're nice. I don't know about these though. Nah, they're, I don't know man. Plant-based. I want duck. Real duck. Yeah. Here we go. Not bad. Not bad? Not bad. Let's see what the toilet looks like in a couple of hours. <laughs> <laughs> Paris is now sold out. Did it? Paris wow. is now sold out. Let's Paris go. is now Let's sold go. out. <laughs> Paris is sold out. 900 people. That's a lot of people. Pronounce it. Yeah. That's an Arabic name, brother. You're getting closer. You're getting closer to Haram. <laughs> Do you know? Haram is Haram. Haram is Haram. Yeah, see? He's saying Haram. He's saying Haram. Arrived in the venue and it's looking cool. I've never been here before. So let's get set up. Let's roll, sound check, and then I need some food. Wow, what a show. The crowd is always amazing. Everyone is just screaming the lyrics and yeah, they love Vic. And Vic's been killing it. New day tomorrow, doing Hamburg right now. I'm packed down, I'm just walking around Berlin. Got a little tea, a little chai. And yeah, just chilling, winding down for a little bit. Cause you know, coming up stage, you're on a high and you're gonna go to bed soon. So I just like to walk around and wind down for a little bit after shows. Helps my mind relax for a little bit. So that's nice. See you tomorrow. Thank you, Berlin. Let's go to Hamburg. This train is crazy. There's no one driving this train. I don't know what's going on. This is where someone is supposed to sit and, and drive the train, but there is no one in here. Am I going to die? What is happening? left me a signed card. Dear Mr. Lunde, it's a great pleasure to welcome you inside. To welcome you inside. Kind regards, Jace Zipke. Check out this dressing room, it's lit. Literally. What All right, three, two, one.
When they push the door, I said, I'm alone, and Matthew Lou swinging on a floor going, Nay, na, na, na. Just about the board, just the train to Paris. Oh my gosh, I've taken so many trains this week. How do you like taking trains, Matt? It's alright. It's cozy to be fair. It is quite cozy. Uh, I actually like it. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Sorry, bro. Cheers, guys. To the last one. It's all about Paris. We've arrived in Paris. Got high expectations for this one. Paris always delivers and it's always a great crowd. So I think it's going to be a really fun show. Last one on this run and then we're home tomorrow. We're at the venue, we've sound checked and we're ready to go out and eat. This venue is nice, it's called Trabendo and I played it once before, JP Cooper, just six months ago I think. And uh, I really like it because it's 900 cap and it's more or less like twice the capacity of all the other shows we've done so far this tour. Uh, so it's really nice, it's going to be Vic's biggest show to date which is awesome. Um, and the venue is pretty cool. People will be standing all the way up here, and down here, all the way up here. So even though it's 900 cap, it still feels quite like intimate, which I like. And last time I was here, we had a good time, so I'm expecting the best time. Hi, yo, who's this guy? Hi. Whoop. <laughs> That's what it's really about. Bro, what are you saying, man? I'm here, man. I'm present here. yourself. Present yeah. yourself. Hi, I'm Troy McGlure. <laughs> What's your real name? President David Palmer. He is the drummer of Victor Ray. Yes, I'm oh. the drummer of Victor Ray. Today I will be playing the kick drum though. Indeed. So I don't know. So I, just, I, um, he will judge me very I hard. I sired him, the drummer, <laughs> for this tour. <laughs> oh my goodness. No, it's good to have you, David. Thanks, man. Do you have a tip for uh, any drummers that might be watching this vlog? <laughs> Never missed the one. <laughs> <laughs> that is a great tip for me as well. Oh my gosh. You're crazy, bro. <laughs>